So I was just talking to my wife about this and it freaked her out and I can kind of understand why. And I'd never really thought about this uh, until I was listening to the radio uh, yesterday. Uh, as many of you may know, um, I'm a born again Christian and I also work at a Christian radio station in Chicago. I know, kind of weird for the guy that narrates weird darkness. Hey, I'm eclectic, whatever. Uh, anyway, they were talking about end time events and specifically the Antichrist. This is disturbing because the, the Antichrist isn't going to be born as Damien, you know, with a, with a child and the number 666 on the back of the head. It's not like that because the only person that knows when the uh, events of Revelation are going to begin, when, when the rapture begins, when Jesus comes back to take his followers with him, when the Antichrist actually comes to power, the only person that knows that is God. Okay, Satan doesn't know that. So that means, so it could happen today, it could happen a hundred years from now, it could happen a thousand years from now. We don't know, Satan doesn't know. Which means, at all times, he's grooming somebody to be the Antichrist. That means at this very moment, there is somebody in the world who is ready to step into that role of being the Antichrist. They don't know that they are. Satan doesn't know. Satan knows who that person is, but Satan doesn't know if that person will be the Antichrist because it may not happen in that person's lifetime. So that not that freaky? I mean, we're not waiting for a baby to be born to be the Antichrist. He may, there is somebody right now that is, that could possibly be the Antichrist or not but Satan has to always be grooming at least one person for that role, ready to fill, ready to step in the instant Jesus comes back for his followers. Is that your neighbor? Dun, dun, dun. Oh. <laughs>